Okay, good morning and welcome back to another solar installation video by Alps Electrical. Uh, today we've got an exciting project on our hands. There's 25 430 watt panels to install on this house behind us. Alongside that, we have a 13.5 kilowatt hour Tesla power wall to install with gateway for the off-grid facility, which was important to this customer to have in the event of a power cut, they could power their entire home. So we're gonna be focusing on that side of things for the first part of this video, installing the power wall and the gateway around the side of the house. Let's go and have a look at that area. So this is where we're gonna be installing the power wall, the gateway, and then we're gonna send our uh, conduit up and the inverter is going to go in the loft. The customer wanted some idea of where we were going to put everything because there was a couple of options. Just on the other side of this wall is the main consumer unit. Um, but this is also his son's bedroom. Um, so he didn't really want too much mess in there. He also wanted to keep this outside space looking tidy, which obviously the power wall, it's a nice looking unit. You know, this is... It's not a redundant bit of space, but there's space here for things to go. So I actually drew out a few options for the customer. Um, there was like three different options, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah. So we, we drew out a few options um, of putting the uh, gateway on the other side of this wall uh, and then, you know, sorting the meter tails out in between the gateway and the consumer unit. That was one option. Um, the other op and, and the other option was just the power wall out here and then we needed to get the meter tails from here into the gateway and back, uh, which was going to be a bit tricky. Um, and then the third option was we're going to put the gateway here, power wall here, effectively keeping everything external. So like there's not going to be any damage inside whatsoever, no disruption um, to the inside of the house and the son's bedroom. Uh, and we know we can make a really tidy job of this out here as well. So that's our um, our priority, is to not only get everything installed and up and running, but to make this look still aesthetically pleasing. I mean, you know, the electric cupboard, the gas cupboard and everything, and the, 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 drain, is, the drain pipe is there. So it's, you know, these are functioning parts of the house. So the power wall and the gateway will now also be functioning parts of the house, but that's no harm in still trying to make it look as smart as you possibly can, which is what we're all about. Uh, I enjoy working and making sure that um, things look as best as they possibly can. So, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a start. We're possibly going to, first thing we're going to do is get the power wall mounted, uh, get the gateway mounted, and then we'll start putting, um, you know, the conduit and everything else in between and get that wired. And then we'll start looking at, um, putting our conduit up there. This, this drain pipe is a bit higgledy-piggledy. You can't see it on the camera, but it's, it zigzags all the way up. Um, so we're gonna try and follow that with the conduit and try and keep our conduit behind the drain pipe. We'll, we'll take the drain pipe off um, and then put the conduit on and put the drain pipe back so that you can't even see the conduit. Um, so yeah, so we've got a lot to do, a lot to get on with. So we'll make a start and uh, come back later. Right, so uh, it's lunchtime now and um, we've managed to, obviously we've got the power wall on first thing this morning and uh, we've put the gateway on and we put a couple of isolators in the meter cupboard. Now the reason for that is it's purely aesthetics. That meter cupboard has got everything it needs and it has plenty of space left over. There's absolutely no need to not use that. If uh, the inside of that cupboard ever does need to be utilised for any reason, 
we can easily extend those isolators and potentially put them here between the two cupboards but for the sake of aesthetics um, I'm trying to make sure that all we see here is the Tesla power wall and the Tesla gateway um, rather than having isolators and other bits that we can potentially house in here one of the plans was to install a, a whisker box here which would be a little bit bigger it would come out further than this um, and that was going to house the isolators and the generation meter but it's you know it just look a little bit ugly um, and uh, as much as this is a functional system it also needs to look smart i mean you know you need to live with it as well so we don't want too much on the wall which can be avoided so hence why we've gone to the effort of getting out all the cables through the cavity between the gateway and the meter cupboard so we've run we've run the meter tails between the two uh, the the meter tails that run to the consumer unit will be coming from the gateway and then the meter tails from the smart meter come into the gateway so we're basically redirecting them through the gateway off to the consumer unit and we've got a main switch here and we've got two RCBOs one will be for the inverter and one will be for the power wall so they both come down into each isolator and back out the isolator which is these two here which is what we're going to join onto inside the gateway because we're going to come out the gateway it's unavoidable we have to put some conduit somewhere so we're going to come out with some conduit along here probably a tea box that will take one one will go off up towards the inverter the other one is going to come down to the power wall so there's going to be a little bit of conduit along that wall which is unavoidable um, but it should look it should look really smart so that's how far we've got so far it's um you know slow progress with with something like this uh, you've got to take your time it needs to look right uh, and there's a, there's quite a bit of wiring and, and stuff to do within that um so yeah we've made decent progress midday um and uh, this, the rest of the afternoon we'll probably spend you know getting this conduit in probably get the conduit up to the loft maybe even look at putting the inverter in the loft uh, before the end of the day uh, we haven't started anything with the panels as yet that's going to be uh, later on uh, either today because we've got another couple of lads arriving or we'll probably just start that on Thursday um, but there's 25 panels to go on that roof so there's still a hell of a lot of work to do um, and it's looking good we're gonna have some food Okay, so um, we've um, basically finished the conduit, wired the power wall in. Um, as you can see, we've got a bit of a little bit of conduit running along the top here. Tea box there because we're going to shoot up for the inverter, which is going in the loft. So that's ready for that that cable. And then we've just put some cable down that bit of conduit, bit of flexible conduit into the power wall. Yeah, good progress so far. It looks smart on the wall. We've managed where we've just got the gateway we've got the power wall and literally all you can see is a little bit of conduit that runs along there which is nothing we could have done about that you've got to have something uh, we're not magicians um, but it looks dead smart and then this bit of conduit here is going to be hidden behind the guttering all the way up so from from over there it looks really nice uh, so yeah all good Okay, so we're going to call it a day today. Uh, we've made some fantastic progress. It's just the two of us today because unfortunately uh, one of our other members of staff has had a, a family issue. So we've not been able to, to do anything on the roof today, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to come again tomorrow uh, where we will start the roof work. Uh, but today we've managed to obviously install all of the Tesla power wall, the gateway and all of the associated wiring. The isolators are in the meter cupboard. And uh, we've also run our conduit as planned up behind the drain pipe all the way there uh, which uh, takes me back to my apprenticeship days uh, doing me conduit bends uh, me sets and everything so that's gone really well that looks absolutely excellent straight up and uh, our cable now for the inverter is just in the loft ready for tomorrow so we'll we'll tackle that tomorrow we'll get the inverter on do the bits in the loft and then uh, by hopefully that'll be a couple of hours and then we'll be on the roof then 
putting the roof uh, hooks on and everything like that so great day and it looks absolutely stunning i'm really really pleased how that's turned out you know you have a plan in your head of where you're going to put everything and you know i really wanted this to because the customer was very very uh you know um he, he wanted it to look smart uh, as did you know as did we so uh, when you especially when you're installing gear like this you know it's um it's premium premium stuff so we want it to we want to do it justice when we install it so uh i'm really pleased how it's turned out you know we were planning on having the whisker box here with the isolators in but i just think that would have detracted rather from um from how this looks aesthetically because now all you can see is the tesla the tesla branding it looks dead smart so yeah really pleased with how that's gone so we'll catch up again tomorrow when we start doing the roof okay so it's the following morning and uh, as you can see we're on the roof um it's a decent decent day actually the weather is uh, held it was raining on the way here i was thinking oh great we're going to be all day on the roof in the rain but it actually has stopped and fared up a little bit so if it stays like this we're in luck um so we're going to start with this the front roof um and we've got 11 panels on this front roof and then 14 on the back so i think what we'll do today is we'll get all the hooks on 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 this side and and possibly the rails and and start the hooks and rails on the other side and leave the panels for tomorrow because we've got a couple of other guys arriving tomorrow so who can help us get the panels on the roof so there's our plan it's basically 11 and they're all going portrait so the rails are going landscape so first job of the day is to start lifting some tiles find out where the uh the trusses are get our measurements for where to position our hooks and start putting the hooks down so we better get cracking because there's just the two of us and there is an awful lot to do so here we go day two So that's all 11 panels done on this side of the roof now we just got to put the bird protection on and uh, connect the dc cables in just cut the couple of rails off cut the ends off and uh, yeah that's this side done um i should say these were the um all black um tiger neo jinko tiger neo uh, 435 watt panels and they really look stunning on the roof just all black uh, we're going to we've got the black rails and also we're going to put the black bird mesh on as well so it's going to look a treat when we're finished so really pleased with the progress so far leo's going to start doing the bird mesh as you know he's the bird mesh king not only that he's good at other stuff as well but you know he is he is good at his bird mesh like i don't think there's anyone else who can do it quite as well as he can and then i'm going to have a look at doing the earth rod for the tesla power wall we might jump in the loft and get the inverter on <coughs> but we are here tomorrow as well. Uh, we've got another couple of lads arriving who haven't been able to come this week. So they're going to uh, crack on with the other side of the roof. Uh, so I might leave the inverter till tomorrow. But either way, the system should be all up and running and commissioned tomorrow. And uh, yeah, happy customer. Catch you back in a bit. Well, good morning, it's day three and uh, it's freezing. When is it gonna warm up this year? It's like nearly April. Um, 
But anyway, it's all right for me because I'm going to be in the loft and it's uh, the lads on the back roof that are going to fail the call today. I uh, planned that well. Um, so yeah, it's um, we, as you can see last night, we've uh, completed the front, um, including bird mesh. That's all done. Uh, the strings are there in the loft, ready to be connected up. Uh, so the lads are just going to start the back. Last night I managed to get finished the the earth rod, uh, as you saw in the video. Uh, I had to uh, we took up uh, the block paving, dug a little channel, uh, and ran the earth cable through the um, through some conduit, and then carefully put that jigsaw back together, which uh, actually went really well. Getting the earth rod down not so easy. Uh, I don't know what was down there, but uh, it's blooming solid solid foundations, I think. Um, but we managed to get the earth rod in. We've got a good reading as well on the earth rod. So that's all good. Um, so literally all we're going to do now, me and Leo are going to jump in the loft and uh, we are going to start fitting the inverter, the, the solace inverter on the wall, on the gable end. Uh, and then obviously just get the isolators in, DC isolators, AC isolator and the generation meter and uh, get all that connected up. And then I can start commissioning. I'll, I'll start commissioning without that back array on uh, just so that I can be ahead and we can get the power wall up and running commissioned and everything like that uh, and then we can add that the other strings in as and when they're ready to do because it's probably going to take them till three o'clock ish I would imagine two or three o'clock to get that back done because there's like uh, 14 panels on the back we're going to do two strings of seven the one at the front is a string of 11 and then two strings of seven at the back um, so yeah, let's get cracking because it's absolutely freezing and I want to get in that nice warm loft. <laughs> Thanks for watching another installation with Alps Electrical and the team have worked really hard on this one and it's, I'm thrilled with the end result. So thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one.